In this video, I'm talking about the Starkey Muse IQ rechargeable hearing aids. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, consider hitting the subscribe button. Earlier this year, Starkey released this new Muse IQ Lithium Rechargeable Hearing Aid. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to get my hands on a pair of these devices until now, so I wasn't able to include them in my favorite rechargeable hearing aids of 2018. But since I've gotten a pair, I figured I would let you know what I thought. So let's get into the pros, and pro number one is that it has lithium batteries. Lithium batteries are capable of providing a really quick charge for a lot of battery life. And in the case of the Muse IQ rechargeable hearing aids, you're able to get 30 hours of battery life even while streaming. And you can get all of this in only three and a half hours worth of charge time. And even if you only have a few minutes to pop your hearing aids in the charger, it will give you hours worth of battery life. Pro number two is the charger case. And there are two distinct things about the charger case that I really like. First and foremost, it comes with a desiccant brick area. This is basically really important. When you put your hearing aids inside of the charger and you close the lid, you wanna be able to remove the moisture from the hearing aids. On previous generations of rechargeable technology with Starkey, they didn't have a way to actually use a desiccant with their rechargeable devices. Now they have it, now I love it. One of the other things that I really like about the charger case is that it acts like a travel charger as well. So if you are going on a long road trip or you're gone for the weekend, you don't need to bring all the cables, you can just bring the kit with you. And it actually has an indicator for how much battery life it has stored up inside of it. You can see the four green lights, which means that this case is fully charged right now. And when it's fully charged, you can actually get three complete recharges of your hearing aids. Pro number three is that the Muse IQ rechargeable hearing aids turn on immediately after you remove them from the case. This is something that not all rechargeable hearing aids do, and it's really nice to be able to just pull them out of the case without having to find a push button to turn them on, which can be a really big problem for someone who has finger dexterity issues or for someone who has a visual impairment. Pro number four is that they have a telecoil. And day by day, more and more facilities are becoming looped, which means that you can use a telecoil inside of a hearing aid to wirelessly pull sound from whatever venue that you're in. You typically find loop facilities in churches or movie theaters, and what you wanna look for is a sign like this. If you see a sign like that and you have a telecoil inside of your hearing aid, then you can pull the sound directly into your hearing aid so you can hear in that facility much better. All right, that's it for the pros. Now let's get into the cons. And con number one is that you can't interchange disposable batteries with these hearing aids. While it is no secret that I love lithium battery technology, you do give up a little bit of control when you go with lithium batteries. The really nice thing about the Z-Power Muse technology is that you could use disposable batteries interchangeably if you needed them. Con number two is that while it does have compatibility with a cross, which is great, I'm just not a huge fan of the Starkey cross. I haven't had the best of luck with Starkey cross devices in the past, and while it's nice to have a rechargeable cross transmitter, there are other companies out there who have been doing cross for much longer and who also have a rechargeable cross transmitter. And the third and final con is that it doesn't have direct Bluetooth compatibility with a smartphone. Having impressive battery life while streaming is definitely made easier when you're not using Bluetooth. It would have been more impressive to me if they would have made the Halo line of devices rechargeable, but using the 900 megahertz signal with the Muse technology and using the Bluetooth low energy in the Halo technology continue to be mutually exclusive. In general, the Starkey Muse IQ rechargeable devices are on par with the non-rechargeable version of the Muse IQs. The IQ line of devices have some improvements over the original Muse line. One of the features is called Acuity Immersion, which is supposed to give you back some original directionality that is lost by putting the device behind your ear. So when you restore that, you get a little bit additional benefit in a noisy situation, and it's supposed to improve your natural listening experience as well. If you would like to learn a little bit more about Acuity Immersion, they have a really nice white paper that's pretty easy to understand, and I will go ahead and link that in the description below if you want to check it out. Just remember, it does not matter how good the Muse IQ rechargeable hearing aids are or how good any hearing aid is for that matter unless you've had real ear measurement performed on them. Now, if you don't know what real ear measures are, I highly recommend that you watch my video that I will link in the card up here because it is the only way to ensure that your hearing aids are programmed correctly to your hearing loss prescription and there is no way that you should ever purchase hearing aids unless you've had real ear measurement performed. 
Overall, my hat goes off to Starkey as they continue to push the envelope in the development of new hearing aid technology. Rechargeable is definitely the way of the future and they are staying in the conversation with the creation of the Muse IQ Lithium rechargeable hearing aids. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.